What's up traders? So in today's video, we're going to be talking about this big upside potential stock named Azurteo, ticker symbol ASRT. But before we talk about this stock, if you are new here, my name is Antonio and I like to talk about stock options and high demand stocks. If you want to get updates on hot stocks that you should be watching, make sure to like and subscribe and most importantly, turn on the notification bell so that you never miss my uploads and updates on hot stocks. Anyways, let's get into today's video. But a disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor, so do invest according to your own personal risk tolerance and after you've done your own research. So we're going to be talking about ASRT and I don't give buy recommendations. I simply enjoy informing others about stocks that I believe have upside potential and I show my research as to why I believe that. But ultimately, I simply inform you so that you can make your own interpretation on whether or not you should invest. But I also like to be transparent. So I show how much money I personally have invested into each company. And with that being said, I own 100 shares which isn't a lot considering that it's a penny stock, a $1 penny stock. So my total investment into this company is $103. As you can see here, my average cost for my 100 shares is $1.03. I am currently up $18 or 17%. But of course, with penny stocks and all the risk that is involved, uh, I would recommend you guys to be very conservative. And of course, you should know the risk when you're investing into penny stocks. An 18 cent move, as we can see here, is a 17% move over on the stock. So if you were to invest your money and the stock price dropped 50%, you might end up panic selling if you don't really trust in the company too much. So always weigh the risk. And in this case, the risk reward ratio of this stock is huge due to the fact that it's only $1 penny stock. The risk would be a loss of only $1 per share, but a gain of anything above that. So if this stock ever hits double digits, that would be an insane ROI or return on investment. So if we look at the chart that it has, if we look at it on the max, we can see that the max price it hit previously was back in August of 2015 at around $30. Now what they do is they're an American specialty pharmaceutical company and it mainly markets products for treatment in neurology, pain, and diseases of the central nervous system. And that's kind of the reason why they've been getting a lot of hype is due to the fact that they work with the central nervous system and of course with the pandemic due to the coronavirus it makes sense that this company is starting to pick up again and get more attention now if we go to their website we can see that at assertio patients are at the center of everything we do we are committed to improving lives by identifying and bringing to market medicines that address patients needs by educating healthcare providers on our product we can help meet the needs of the patients currently we can support patients by marketing products for neurology inflammation and pain we are bringing differentiated products to patients along with our brand promise that emphasizes minimal hassle for the healthcare providers and increased accessibility for patients we would like to identify new products in other therapeutic areas to broaden our reach by putting patients at the center of what we do it makes it easy to inspire our employees and to help them feel connected to their daily work now if we look at their investor relations powerpoint presentation we can see that assertio presents a unique investment opportunity opportunity and they have tried to combine their forces with Xyla Life Sciences. As we can see, they do have a growing portfolio of branded differentiated prescription medications and we can't see as well their strong financial foundation. Now here we can see their complementary product portfolios which includes the products that Xyla Life Sciences provide as well as the Assertio Therapeutics and this also brings them more sales representatives. As we can see here, they have 80 with Xyla and 70 with Assertio Therapeutics. And these are some of their focuses, which is, of course, neurology, pain and inflammation, and hospital, which brings them new areas to provide sales. Now, they do have commercial excellence with their new strategy, which mainly tailors towards addressing today's market. They have the right team, which has proven leadership with track record or results. They have metrics, which are focused on sales management, and they are now using the opportunity. So they are taking advantage of trend towards non-opioid pain products they have platform capabilities that enable them to seamlessly add new product offerings and they're primed to be a consolidator in a market ripe for opportunity as we can see here the COVID-19 assessing impact of COVID-19 on full potential in person and frequency limited and they also expect optimization of commercial execution to continue to improve over time so now the process which is in place is consists of data-driven targeting to optimize efficiency impactful brand promise that focuses on reducing hassle for physicians and increasing patient access and delivering differentiated products. Here are some examples of the opportunities that they have, which is all the people in the United States who have migraines, 
which they can use that. Now, if we look at some of their financials, we can see that in 2019, they had a pro forma net product sales of 126.3 million and on track to recognize 40 million annually in synergies from the merger with Xyla. And in July, they had a prepaid 10 million of senior secured debt. And now they're mainly focused on opportunity for their growth. And these are some of their 2020 milestones that they achieved. Now, if we look at a piece of news that they've had back on February 4th, Assertio Holdings Incorporated announces pricing of $14 million registered direct offering. So it entered into a security purchase agreement with certain institutional investors to purchase 22.6 million shares of its common stock at a price of 62 cents per share in a registered direct offering. Roth Capital Partners acted as a sole placement agent in connection with the offering. The offering is expected to close on February 9th, 2021, subject to customary closing conditions, which is today. The gross proceeds to the company from the registered direct offering are estimated to be approximately $14 million before deducting the placement agency fees and other estimated offering expenses. The company intends to use proceeds from offering for general corporate purposes, including general working capital. Now, let's say you invested $100 at roughly $1 per share. That would be $100. And if the stock ever does hit $1,000, that means that you would have received a ROI or a return on investment of around 900%, which is insane. Okay, now these companies, along with every company trading in the stock market, will go up and down. It's how the market works. But if you've done your own research and believe in the company long term, then you can invest. Don't buy some shares and on the first tip, panic sell. That is how you lose money in the stock market. You need to be patient and believe in the company you've invested in and allow them to grow and expand. And then you, as an investor, can reap the reward. If you're unsure about your investment, you should possibly consider taking some profits or reducing your investment size. But anyways, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. Invest according to your own personal risk tolerance and be sure to preserve your capital. Let me know what you guys think of this company and what your plan is in the comments down below, as well as ask questions. Also, be sure to like and subscribe to support the channel and to show me that you like this type of content. And if you do, then be sure to expect more. But that's been it for me, guys. Peace.